I'm very humbled and deeply honored to have been entrusted with the awesome responsibility of leading SOM. I'm very excited about this opportunity. Much of my excitement derives from the rare combination of excellence and vibrancy of the people who comprise this community. I've long admired this community from the outside. I once thought of working here years ago. And so I've come to know it a bit. What is the community of which I speak? I speak first, of course, about the faculty. The SOM faculty have distinguished themselves nationally and internationally by producing impactful, world-class scholarship. That's amazing. An equally important part of this community is the staff. In many ways, the staff make the place go. Yeah? Every interaction I've had with the staff over the last two months or so has been astounding. I see that in many ways, they're the most important part of the school. They're committed to the mission. They're dedicated, hardworking, energetic, and wonderful. And then there are the students, former and current. The students at M SOM, as I look on paper, people's scores and grades as they come in, I'm struck by the excellence of the student body. These are world-class people. But more than that, they are passionate. They are diverse with respect to race, region, ethnicity, diverse with respect to their interests. And so to join a community with that kind of human capital is exciting. Yeah? Of course, many business schools can boast that kind of human capital. And I would not be as excited about joining them, to be honest. Why? What is it that makes this place exciting beyond the three things I've just described? Uh, one thing, of course, is its mission. SOM's mission is a defining, unique feature of its culture. It causes uh, the group to cohere around something wonderful. It's distinctive. We'll talk later about re-examining it. But that mission gives this body and this space spirit and energy. And so to join a space where everyone agrees roughly about the mission, <laughs> roughly, I say, roughly, <laughs> is exciting. SOM sits in and is integrated into one of the world's greatest universities, however measured. And so that is an amazing thing. One is joining a great school which sits and is integrated into Yale. That's amazing. Yeah? And then there is this moment, this particular moment in kind of cultural history. And so the set of things that SOM has always sought to do, the things that have always aspired it, the things for which it was training its students from the very beginning, have never been more relevant and important. It's never been more pressingly urgent to train people for success in business and society, I believe. And so the moment is exactly right. You combine the moment, the mission, yeah, and Yale with the other things I mentioned, this makes it very special and makes me very excited. But I must admit, I'm not only excited. I must say to you in all candor that I am also incredibly nervous, <laughs> yes? You'd be too, yeah? <laughs> I'm incredibly nervous for lots of reasons. One reason for my nervousness, of course, is my very bad timing. What do I mean by that? I happen to assume these duties following on the heels of someone who, by many measures, has been the best business school deal in, in the United States in the last quarter century, in my view. I followed Ted Snyder who has done a remarkable job here and the other jobs he's held. And so measured against his standard, I can't live up to that, yeah? Bad timing, Curl. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm nervous too because of the history I mentioned. In a half century or so, this school has managed to do amazing things. It's achieved lofty heights. It's produced amazing alums, hired incredible faculty. There's a nervousness about messing that up. Yeah? I speak to you forthrightly. And then there's this. I'm not from Yale, so I don't know this place. 
There's much to learn, yes? I am ignorant about matters large and small. Where are the bathrooms around here? Yeah? <laughs> see what I mean? How does tenure work? Do you see? There's, there's much for me to learn. And so my excitement has mixed in within it a kind of anxiety, butterflies, kind of, you know? But healthy butterflies. How do I propose to proceed over the next couple of years and over the course of my Dean Show? I think, for me, the most important thing is to be myself. I think Ted is an incredible dean. I think deans I've had before here have been great. I'm going to be Kerwin. I'm not going to try to be anyone else. Kerwin, good and bad. Uh, I'll try to be myself. Part of being myself is that I, I am very comfortable with criticism. I, I'm totally at peace. I'm a scholar. And in scholarship, people say, I like that paper, except I don't like table number three. And that's fine. I'm moving into a slightly different role. And so I am not only not uncomfortable with criticism, I welcome it. I intend to speak with members of this community, faculty, staff, students, alums, and get to know people and have them get to know me. Not merely speak with, but listen to and hear so that I understand the different perspectives that comprise this place, what people's anxieties are, what their aspirations are, thus and so. Yeah. When making a decision, because decisions, after all, have to be made, things have to be done, I can promise you that I will proceed the following way. I will make decisions only after learning about this institution, only after receiving the best information I can. And when I make a decision, I will do so with a certain humility, understanding that I don't know everything and therefore could be wrong. But I'll also make decisions with a certain sense of confidence, that whereas I don't know everything, I know some things. Yeah? And my decision-making might be right. And so I'm going to walk that fine line between humility and confidence. Revision, criticism, you see? That's and so. In proceeding, I will draw upon the wisdom, the advice, the example of many people with whom I've worked in different capacities at other universities. Michigan, where I worked first. Chicago, where I work now, from whom I've learned so many things. My collaborators, my co-authors, my deans. My... I've taken lessons from all of them. Most importantly, I'll draw upon the support of my close friends and family. And with respect to my family, they're not here, but I mean mainly my wife and my boys and my brother and sister and my parents who uh, ladle out the criticism heavily. <laughs> um, I believe that SOM's best days are ahead of it. I can promise you that although I will make errors here and there, I will work assiduously to help us and get, help you help the school achieve its loftiest aspirations. Thank you very much.